They resumed their trek at four in the morning, trying to make some headway before the baking midday sun. Even then it was hard work. Several thousand men, women and children dispersed in a long, exhausted trail. Their goal is to reach the United States, a country where they've now become a political football in a bitter election race. What you should do, John, go into the middle of the caravan, take your cameras and search. Okay? Search. No, no. Take your John. Take your camera, go into the middle and search. You're going to find MS-13, you're going to find Middle Eastern, you're going to find everything. And guess what? We're not allowing them in our country. We want safety. In almost a week with the caravan, Al Jazeera didn't find anyone from the Middle East, nor terrorists, or ISIS, all of which President Trump has hinted at without proof. What we have seen are single men, women, and many families, like that of one and a half year old Giselle, taking a breather by the side of the road with her father and aunt. They, like others here, are aware of Donald Trump's accusations. It's a lie. That's your first reaction. You feel bad about the discrimination because we are not gang members. But what many in the caravan aren't aware of is that the timing of their march could actually turn into a huge political gift for the US president. The caravan has inadvertently come at just the right moment for President Trump and the Republican Party. And that's because the US midterm elections are just two weeks away. And the images of thousands of people heading for the US border, coupled with President Trump's inflammatory and unproven remarks, are only going to mobilize his support. No one we talked to denied that some criminals could be mixed in with the multitude. It's almost inevitable given the numbers here. But they also said that they were heading to the US to escape the violence and poverty of back home and to find work. We only ask to be let through so that we can offer a better future for our children, our parents who are already old and our families. Ultimately, the backlash in the US to this movement of thousands of desperate people could push that dream even further out of reach, both for them and those who come after. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Chappers.